here we go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We got a good one for you today. Oh my goodness, what a storm you have going on in Southern California right now. And that's going to bring us right into the show and what we're talking about today. So you want to pay attention. It's all about lobsters right now. That's what is, this is the weather we've been hoping and praying for all season long. Those of us that know how to lobster fish, we're excited. I wish that I was in Southern California right now to go hoop netting with you the next couple nights because it's going to be unbelievably good. It's going to be insane. You, we're going to talk about lobsters today. Today's show is all about lobsters, so we're going to go deep into the lobster fishing. But right now, we got to talk about two things. The contest to go fishing with Justin on his boat, Bowline Sport Fishing in Long, LA, or Long Beach Harbor. We got a trip we're giving away. You, all you got to do is visit our store, your saltwater guide, the store. When you visit the store, that'll get you entered right away into the contest for the opportunity to win that trip on Bowline Sport Fishing. We're going to go bluefin tuna fishing. We're going to go with Justin on his boat. I'm going to come up from from Cabo and go fishing with you and you get to take yourself and three of your friends. So there'll be four of you and you'll go fishing on bowline sport fishing to go catch one of those big blue fin. Hopefully they're going to still be here after this real storm we're having in Southern California. And then the other thing is uh, when you show up to the Pacific coast sport fishing show, the second, third, fourth, and fifth of March, if you show up wearing a year saltwater guide t-shirt, you're going to get free stuff. And I have lots of my, Lots of my sponsors are giving us plenty of stuff. There'll be Baja jerky. There'll be shirts and hats and keychains and lanyards and everything from all our different sponsors. So make sure you have one of my shirts on. If you show up at the show when I'm doing my seminar, I'll be throwing you guys all kinds of free stuff if you have one of my shirts on. So don't forget to get a shirt and come to the show. So today, gang, we're talking about lobster fishing. Why? Because I've done a ton of seminars in Southern California over the last 20 years. And what do I always talk about? The phenomenal amount of fresh water when it enters the ocean, when you have an epic amount of rain like we have had this week in Southern California, that is going to cause the lobsters to crawl. What happens when they start to crawl? They start to burn energy. When they start to burn energy, they got to look for something to eat. Now, why does the fresh water make them move? They hate fresh water. They're salt water animals. They do not like fresh water. So when you have this massive amount of runoff that you have right now, it's going to push them out of their holes. Because if you've ever taken something weird, but if you take a rock, put it in an aquarium, don't fill the aquarium all the way up. Have part of the rock sticking out of the water. The aquarium salt water. Take a cup of fresh water and pour it over the rock. You're going to watch. If you look in the aquarium, you're going to watch that fresh water is going to stay tight to the rock. It's not going to disperse out into the fresh water or out into the salt water in the beginning. And as it starts to roll down that rock, it goes into the crevices of the rock. What lives in the crevices? These lobsters. They're going to get pushed out because they don't want to be in there when there's fresh water in there. They're going to move out. As they start to move out, they start to walk around. Now they're burning energy. What do they need? They need something to eat. Therefore, your hoop net's going to be right there. They're going to march right into your hoop net. And bam -o, you got beautiful big lobsters. This is when some of the biggest lobsters are going to be caught in Long Beach and L.A. Harbor. The great big giant ones that are super smart that never come out of their holes. They're coming out because they hate fresh water. They're getting flushed out. Same with San Diego. Same with Santa Monica. Same with the Long Beach break wall. The... Uh, Marina Del Rey break wall, the Redondo Beach break wall, the Dana Point, all the break walls up and down the coast are getting flushed. The lobsters are getting flushed out right now by all the fresh water. Then the next thing that's going to make these animals crawl is that massive swell. You guys are going to get hit with a massive swell tomorrow, Friday and Saturday in Southern California. Right now up in Northern California, Oregon, the swell they're talking about is 35 feet. By the time it gets down to Southern California, it's supposed to be 15 to 18 foot. 
What that does is it stirs up the bottom of the ocean. When it stirs up the bottom of the ocean, that makes that lobster feel very confident that he can cruise around and go find stuff to eat because they're a nocturnal animal. They stay in their houses and in their the rocks during the daytime because everything wants to eat a lobster. Think about this, everything. You wanna eat one, I wanna eat one. The California sea lion that we talked about yesterday loves to eat lobsters. Moray eels love to eat lobsters. Octopus love to eat lobsters. Black sea bass, white sea bass, calico bass, sheep's head. Everything wants to eat them. So they don't have a tendency to want to move around too much. And when they do, they're out and then they're back in. But when the water gets filthy dirty, which it does right now from the runoff and then from the massive swell, all that movement is going to give that lobster that little tiny bit of confidence he needs to come out and start roaming around and find something to eat. And he's going to cruise around. He's going to find something to eat. And then what is he going to find? He's going to find your hoop net. It's going to have a big, a big uh, tube full of food in it. He's going to walk right into your hoop net, and you're going to get to take home beautiful lobsters and this is what happens, and this is why so many hoop netters and so many lobster fishermen get so excited when there's weather like there is right now, because we know that they're going to crawl. And you guys that have been fishing lobsters in LA and Long Beach Harbor all season long, and it's been pretty slow, and you've been getting three or four a night or one a night, the whole thing's going to change right now. And it's going to be very, very good for at least a week, because right, we got a little reprieve in this weather on Friday and Saturday, then the, but we'll have that big swell. And then come Monday and Tuesday, we got another massive amount of rain coming into Southern California. So all that means very well for this lobster hoop netting fishery that us sport fishermen love so much. We all love to go tuna, marlin, dorado, wahoo, yellowtail fishing. But this time of year, our options are so small because right now, and you'll see on my game plan, those of you that are members of the website, right now the water is going to be filthier than most of you have ever seen before. Most of you that have been fishing for less than 15 years have never seen a real storm. Right now we have a very real storm coming through Southern California with a massive swell attached to it that really has nothing to do with our little storm and has a, something to do with a huge storm up Northern California. But all this is coming down the coast and it's causing a phenomenal amount of runoff. I want you to think about this. Everything you've seen in your gutter, everything you've seen in the riverbeds as you go to and from work and you look over into the bridges and you see the LA River or the Santa Ana River or any of the rivers that you drive across every day, all that garbage and all that stuff that you saw in those, in those riverbeds and all the homeless encampments and everything, all of that stuff right now just got washed into the ocean. Yeah, it did. I remember back in the 80s running sport boats and we'd have these big massive storms and there would be days where we'd be out fishing where we'd see a cow float by or a cat or a dog or a goat or a pig go floating by because every single thing that has made its home in these riverbeds is now washed into the ocean. So it's going to be imperative that you're super careful right now when you go out on your boat because there's going to be stuff floating in the ocean that you've never seen before. And I know up in Northern California, Oregon and Washington, that's nothing. But down here in Southern California, we haven't seen anything like this in a very long time. So everything that's been in the rivers and gutters and everything is now in the ocean. So the ocean is going to be super filthy, dirty for a while. And it's going to be gnarly cruising around on your boat in the dark because you got a very good chance of running into something. So you got to be careful and you got to pay attention and head on a swivel. And when you're out there, watch for everything. There could be a small piece of wood just floating up and down. You think it's nothing. It could be a 20 foot long log just barely under the surface. They call them deadheads up in Northern California, Oregon and Washington. Well, we're going to see that kind of stuff down here in Southern California for the next couple of weeks. So it's imperative to be super careful when you're out there, but don't stop going 
you want to go hoop netting right now. You want to get out there and go. And if you haven't ever visited Promar's website, you want to go check out Promar and you want to get that stuff to go catch your lobsters. So you have it because it looks to me like this could be a very wet and wild next couple of months. And the cool thing about the lobster season, and it goes all the way into the into the first week of March. So we got plenty of time to get out there and catch lobsters. But big news is, I just posted it on all my social media, is Justin Botrell just put together a couple of trips, and he's going to be hoop netting in uh, Long Beach, L.A. Harbor, and he has a couple of openings for his trip. So you want to give him a call at 951-703-9442. And you want to get out there with Justin because you got a very, very good chance of catching these lobsters with him. If you don't have a boat and you don't have all the gear, you can go with Justin. I just gave his phone number. Rewind it if you didn't hear it. But he's got a couple of trips. Bitch and little boat. He has a really good time out there. He's very, very good at it. He follows my game plans to a T, and he does very good for his clients. And you've got a chance this weekend to catch lobster of a lifetime, a bucket list lobster, a lobster like Kelly caught, an 18, 20-pound lobster. I would think there's going to be some monsters caught this weekend in Long Beach, L.A. Harbor, because they're getting flushed out of their holes. Kelly's lobster was 18 and three quarter pounds. Now I know a lot of you have caught way bigger than that and you caught them on way bigger boats and way better times and your knife was way sharper and your sister's brother's aunt's cousin put you on the lobster. But let me tell you something. When you see a 10 pound plus lobster come over the rail, it is game changer, bucket list stuff. And that is what's going to happen this weekend. I'm telling you. Justin's boat is going to fill up. We have a couple hundred thousand followers on Facebook alone that are revved up and ready to go. So I would call Justin sooner than later and get on the boat and get out there with them this weekend. The weather in the harbor is going to be beautiful. You're not going to be out in the big swell and rolling around and, and getting seasick because you're never leaving the harbor. You're going to be fishing inside of Long Beach, LA Harbor for these lobsters. So you want to go with Justin, this is going to be the trip of a lifetime. I'll give the number one more time. I'm just telling you, gang, this is your big chance to get out there and do something that you've never done before and get out there and see what I'm talking about. Here's Justin's number one more time. 951 951-703-9442. 951-703. 9442. Gang, you want this is what we dream about in this industry as far as hoop netting. This is the this is the weather we've all been waiting for. It's gonna be incredible, gang. You got a really good chance to catch a lobster of a lifetime this week. And I'm not making this stuff up. I've been talking about this for years. I don't, I'm not sugarcoating it because Justin has a trip. I'm just sure telling you that he's got a trip and he's got openings on both Saturday and Sunday night. You want to go. It's going to be insane. You're going to read about it. You're going to see, we're going to post the pictures on our social media after this weekend's trip. And it's going to be insane. Also gang, we posted a picture today. I don't know if you follow me on social media. I know on Spotify and Apple podcasts, a lot of you are listening and, uh, you probably don't see it over there on the social media platform, but we post all kinds of cool stuff every day. Three brand new videos every single day. Three brand new videos every day. Mon Monday through Sunday, I put three brand new videos out every single day. Also, we lay pictures out every single day, and we do this sh live show Monday through Friday. On the pictures, we have an unbelievable picture of 186 pound wahoo i didn't even know they got that big 186 pounds absolute true weighed in cabo san lucas it is the most unbelievable picture you can see the little girl standing there that caught it and then lo and behold one of our clients that are members of your saltwater guide my website calls me up this morning and says back in 84 when she caught that i was fishing right next to her 
Justin, hopefully your phone's going to start ringing. We've been plugging your phone number. He's got these openings. He's on Instagram right now, gang. Reach out to Justin. You want to get on his boat. But back up a second. We were talking about this Wahoo. He said he was dragging a Marauder that exact same day right next to her. Didn't even know he was right next to her. He got bit. Fish took a half a mile of line and then fell off. And then went over and ate the little girl's little girl's marauder. And oh my gosh, she caught it. He lost it. She caught it. How, what a small world. I post this picture I've never seen before. And ends up one of our clients or one of our members of our website was fishing right next to her. And then we posted another picture this morning of one of the, back in 2015, when that bluefin first started biting in Southern California, we were lucky enough to be running that big yacht, the lick, the wild at sack. And we had a phenomenal day fishing with our guys. We had five of those fish over 200 pounds. And I posted that picture. And I said, if you left a good, a good post about the picture, if you left a good comment, we'd mention you. And uh, Craig Kaminsky, thank you very much. That is a funny, funny post, funny post. And uh, thank you very much. Gang, you got to look at the pictures. You got to leave comments. You got to be a part of this whole thing because constantly we're giving away all kinds of swag, all kinds of cool stuff. I've been giving away stuff for three years on this show. We've given away rods, reels, tackle, and I'm sure we're going to get blessed with a bunch of new stuff as our new sponsors sign up their contracts here in the next week or so. And we'll have all kinds of there's Justin's phone number again. He just put it up on Insta. But we'll have all kinds of cool stuff. We'll be giving away all year long. So make sure you follow us on all social media platforms because you want to win the free stuff. And we'll figure out something to do for those of you on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. We'll get you involved in this giveaway stuff for sure. I promise you as the season, as the year moves along, we're just signing contracts with our new, couple of new sponsors and signing new contracts with our old sponsors. So we'll have all kinds of new stuff for all of you. We get millions of views every week. So I know there's a lot of people that are begging me to talk about their stuff. Gang, I still have some openings left. If you want to give me a call at 949-374-0786, we'll get your stuff out in front of millions of people. Try to buy that kind of advertisement. Let me know how that works out for you. You can follow us on every piece of social media out there. And you can see that I'm not lying. We have millions of views on our videos. So check out all the posts, check out all the cool pictures because we're constantly posting cool stuff. And then I don't know if you guys saw that post I posted yesterday of a FedEx truck parked and then a young man fishing behind the truck. I. We don't know if he's a FedEx. He doesn't have any FedEx clothing on. I think you all need to relax, take a deep breath. I've had people call me and threaten, to threaten me over this post of the guy fishing behind the FedEx truck. I've had people call me and tell me I got him fired. I got people calling me and telling me that if they ever see me, they're going to beat the hell out of me. Well, gang, I'm pretty easy to find. Why don't you come to the Pacific Coast Sport Fishing Show? I'll be there. Let's get it on right in front of everybody. You can beat me up. I've never been in a fight in my life. You can beat me up in front of a couple hundred thousand people. It'd be spectacular. I'll even leave your free tickets at the front desk so you can come on in and check me out. Gang, I will be here for you tomorrow. We'll talk about Justin. I bet he's going to get booked up. But if he isn't booked up by tomorrow, we'll let you know. But you definitely want to go hoop netting because this is going to be the weekend that everybody talks about all season long. And you don't want to be left out. And those of you that are members of the website and those of you that have all your hoop net stuff and those of you that can go hoop netting, this is going to be your weekend. The wind is going to back off. It's going to be a spectacular weekend. If you go and you listen to my, go and you listen to my um, uh, game plans on my website, you'll see that I'm talking about the weather's going to calm down. Okay. It's going to not be windy but it's still going to be kind of violent with the big swell, but that's good for lobster and inside long beach, LA Harbor or inside San Diego Harbor, the wind and the weather doesn't really matter. It's always nice in the Harbor. 
But what's going to be different is the water is going to be filthy, dirty, and it's going to be moving a lot with that big swell. It causes a massive amount of surge, and that's going to get those lobsters moving even more. So it's going to be phenomenal this weekend, and you're going to be reading about it. And how bitching would it be to be reading about you catching that giant lobster? So if, if you have your own boat, go. If you don't have your own boat, you want to go with Justin. I'm telling you, he's good at what he does. He's been following us for a very long time. He knows exactly the right way to do it. And besides that, you're just going to have a good time. He's an all-around great guy. He's got great stories. He has a TV show on Discovery. You're going to be blown away with all the knowledge that you're going to get to grab while you're out fishing with Justin on his boat. It's worth the price of admission just to hang out and listen to him and talk to him and find out what he's done and where he is. He's the reptile hunter, gang. And he has a charter boat in Long Beach Harbor. You're going to get to see all kinds of parts that you can't even comprehend. I don't know why people think it's macho to fish in rough weather, Jack. What I tell everybody, if it's blowing, I'm not going. If the wind is blowing, Dave Hansen's not going. Neither is his beautiful wife, Kelly. We don't like to go out there and get beat up. We live in Southern California where you have 300 bitching days. Why would you go out on the 65 crappy days in Southern California? There's no need to. Doesn't make you a bigger person because you went out there when it was rough. The other people on your boat that you invited to go are hating life. They are hating being out there. They're hating the experience. You'll probably never get them on your boat again. So I don't know why people would ever go out when it's rough and gnarly. But one thing we got to talk about real quick is uh, tomorrow is text the show Friday and podcasters, you guys can send in messages to us. You don't have to wait till tomorrow. You guys can start texting your, you can start texting your uh, questions today. You can text them to 949 374 0786. Then we're going to pick one texter out of the group. So if it's a good question or if you're super cool, we're going to pick one. You're going to get a free T-shirt. We give away a free shirt every Friday to text the show Friday. So text in your questions, especially you podcasters, because you're always, you're always like an hour behind by the time I get this up on the podcast. So you're not getting it live. You're getting it an hour later. But I will read your questions online if they're good. If they're booger eater questions, we're not reading them. You know that. And booger eaters, you know who you are. So just leave your crappy comments to yourself. And yeah, I know. I've been inviting these people that are going to beat me up to my shows for 25 years. I've been standing up in front of people for 25 years talking. They never show up. They all talk a big game behind their computer screen. I'm right here. I'm the easiest person in the world to get a hold of. Plus, my phone number is plastered everywhere. Every bathroom from Morro Bay to Mexico, you can find my number. I'm pretty easy to find. What I wouldn't do, one person asked Thomas, what you never want to do is put your hoop nets where the commercial guys get to fish. So inside Long Beach Harbor, inside San Diego Harbor, commercial guys can't fish. Catalina, commercial guys can't fish. I wouldn't suggest going to Catalina this weekend because of the amount of stuff that's going to be floating in the water. And you don't need to go because the coast is going to be so good because of the weather. So I wouldn't suggest, but going to Catalina, because you can save your fuel and wait until we don't have all this gnarliness and you could fish. But if you have a burning desire to go to Catalina, that ride home is going to be nothing but a white knuckler trying not to hit trees and cows and sheep and everything else that's floating in the ocean. So those of you that are deciding to go to Catalina to go hooping your you're putting your boat at risk. You're putting your family at risk. You're putting yourself at risk because it's not a good weekend to be driving around in the dark. And that's how we most of us come home in the dark. But you do not want to fish where the commercial guys fish. Not because I have a bunch of commercial lobster fishermen that are my friends. That has nothing to do with it. It's because the commercial guys would give everything they have for a day to throw their commercial traps where we get to hoop net. They don't get to fish where we get to fish and they think you guys are funnier than heck when you go out there and throw your hoop nets where the commercial guys are fished and they've been able to fish there for a hundred years 
and you think you're going to go over there, throw your hoop net in the water and sneak a lobster from them, it ain't going to happen, gang. So you need to quit that and you need to go fish. You need to go fish where the commercial guys are not allowed to go. That's probably the number one thing. And then also, gang, if you're not a member of my website, definitely you want to become one sooner than later. Prices are going up. The app is going to be going live in February. The prices are going to go up on the website. But if you get in now, they're going to be the same. And those of you that are thinking about going hoop netting and you haven't followed all the stuff on my website on how to do it, you're going to you're going to be blown away how you could figure this out, how you can do it. I have every secret known to man on how to do this hoop net thing. I've got it all figured out. I already have done all the dumb stuff. I've already done all the booger eating stuff. And I just give you the real stuff that you need to be successful when you go hooping. Go to YourSaltWaterGuide.com. If you can't figure it out or if you don't want to figure it out and you don't want to go through the rigmarole of signing up over there, call me at 949-374-0786. We will sign you up. I will get it all taken care of. You don't have to fill out all the stuff over there. You don't have to put in your credit card. You don't have to get that reoccurring charge. You could call me. We'll get you set up. We'll get you taken care of. Your saltwaterguide.com. Never, ever use salmon heads for hoop netting for lobsters ever. Why? Because you know what loves salmon heads? The California sea lion. They, those of you that use salmon heads, they love you. And they told me when they called me the other day, all the sea lions, they had a meeting and they were calling me and they said, please stop telling everybody not to use salmon heads. And I was like, why, Mr. Sea Lion? And he said, because when they put those sardines and those anchovies in the tubes, we can't get to it, Dave. We want them to keep using salmon heads so we can keep stealing the salmon heads out of their hoop nets. You do not want to feed the sea lion. We talked about it on our show yesterday, gang. Any of these questions you have, spend the $9.99 and go to my website and get all this information. I have a bunch of videos. I teach you exactly how to do it the proper way. If you have to think about spending $9.99 to learn how to do things right, or if you have to call your spouse and ask her or him if it's okay, would it be okay, honey, if I spend $9.99? To learn how to catch a lobster that's worth $100? Fishing's not your problem. Let's be honest. You got way bigger problems than fishing. But that whoever you're calling and asking if it's okay to spend nine bucks, I guarantee you they went to Starbucks and bought their coffee this morning and didn't ask you. And they probably put $2 or two gallons of gas in their car and they didn't ask you. Two gallons of gas. That's what it costs to be a member of my website for a month. Two gallons of gas or a cup of Starbucks coffee. Crazy. Your saltwater guide, I'll be here for you tomorrow. Text the show. Don't forget, 949-374-0786. We'll answer all your questions if you text them in, and we'll pick one of you to win that free T-shirt. Thank you for joining us today. Have a great day. Adios.